Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be going over RetroArch Netplay. With the recent release of LaunchBox 8.0, we have integrated Netplay into LaunchBox and BigBox. For as long as I can remember, it's always been a part of RetroArch, but we wanted to get it integrated into LaunchBox and BigBox, and it's finally there. LaunchBox 8.0 does have the ability to launch Netplay from within LaunchBox or BigBox now. Before we get started here, there are a few things you need to know. In order to connect to somebody using RetroArch Netplay, you must have the same exact ROM that they have, you have to use the same exact core, and you need to have the same version of RetroArch. I'm going to show you all of this, and I'm going to walk you through how to set it up. Now if you've never used RetroArch Netplay before, I recommend starting off with something easy like NES or SNES. In this video we're going to be going over SNES. I'm using the RetroArch Core called SNES 9X to emulate my Super Nintendo games within LaunchBox and BigBox. I'm going to find my Super Nintendo category here, and I'm going to find a game that's two players. So I know that Joe and Mac is a two player game. If you're not exactly sure, you can always click on a game. Over in the right hand column, we should see multiplayer, cooperative, this will be simultaneous multiplayer. We're going to right click, RetroArch Netplay. We definitely want to read the RetroArch Netplay getting started FAQ. So we can click right here, I'll also leave a link in the description. Does RetroArch require port forwarding to work? In most cases, yes. The host needs to forward the ports properly. Please read the setup guide below. Does it support more than two players? Yes, it does. Does the core need to be the same version for the server and the client? Yes. Some emulators just flat out will not work correctly. PlayStation 1, N64, Dreamcast, GameCube, Wii, 3DS. They do not currently work here. Can you play Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, PSP, 3DS game with multiple people via RetroArch Netplay? No, RetroArch's Netplay is not link cable emulation. So even though we just went over those, they do not work, there are still thousands of multiplayer games that will work perfectly with RetroArch Netplay. Now in order to connect to one of your friends, you will need to give them your IP address. I recommend using What's My IP. Now I'm using a VPN here, showing that I'm in Las Vegas. This is the IP I will give them to connect to me. So I really recommend only giving this out to people you know or have known for a while that you can trust. It is your public IPv4, but there are still things that people can do with this. So I only give it out to trusted friends. I'm just going to copy this because we're going to need this later. Go ahead, read through here. Everything you need to know is here. If you run into problems, there's a section here for problems. We need to now go set up Netplay within RetroArch. Now it's time to launch RetroArch. We only really need to do this one time. I'm going to right click on a game that I'm using RetroArch with. Open RetroArch. From here, we're going to scroll over to settings. Scroll down to user interface. Show advanced settings. We want to turn this on. Now we're going to go to Network, and this is our Netplay section. Publicly announce Netplay. Mine set to off. If it was on and I started a Netplay session, anybody could connect to me from over here in the Netplay rooms. Refresh list. There's four people playing right now. So I could connect to one of these people as long as I'm using the same version of RetroArch, the same core, and the same game. If you've left publicly announce on, you'll be in this list also when you start a Netplay session. If you want to leave this on, you definitely could, but I want to connect to people that I know and I know want to play the same game as me. That's why we're going to go the other route with giving out our IP address. We're going to go back to network. There's a few more settings in here that we should take a look at. I always turn on use relay server. This is on. My relay server location is New York City. This should be set automatically. This is not my correct server address. This is just something that I put in here. Netplay TCP port 55435. You can change this if you like. This is the stock port. This is the port you may need to port forward on your modem. 
I would go over that, but there are thousands of different routers out there and all of them are different. I will leave a link in the description to a website that explains it for most routers. Server password. Now I don't set up a server password because I'm connecting to people I know. You can set up a password, they'll just have to enter that to enter your room. Netplay spectator mode. You can turn this on or off. If you have spectator mode on, they can watch you play, but they cannot interact. I usually have this off because if I'm connecting to somebody, I want to play a game with them. So that's pretty much it for inside of here. We're going to back up and quit RetroArch. Now it's time to start a Netplay session. Earlier today, me and James Baker actually got together and played a few games over Netplay. He's about 750 miles away from me. There were a few games that gave us a little bit of trouble, but after a few times of restarting, they worked fine. All of the Super Nintendo games we tried worked perfect out of the box with no configuration. And all we did to set this up was right click on a game. Now if I want to host the server, I'm going to go to RetroArch Netplay, host game, put in my nickname, click OK. The game will start and I'll be hosting a server. In order to connect to that server, you'll need to hit join game, put in your nickname, and then put the IP address of the host. I showed you this earlier. It's going to be this right here. Just paste it in. And as long as everything's set up correctly, you click OK, your game's going to start, and you'll connect to your friend. Now this is my IP address, so it's not going to work here. But I did record some footage of me and James Baker playing earlier. Let's move over there now, and I'll show you how well it works. So I've already given Mr. Baker my IP address so he could connect to me. We decided to play Killer Instinct. I'm going to right click on Killer Instinct. RetroArch Netplay, host, put in my name, click OK. Down at the bottom you have joined as player one, my public address, waiting for him to connect, waiting for client, and he should connect in just a second. There we go. Got connection from Baker. So now he's player two. We're about to play a round of Killer Instinct, 750 miles away from each other. I believe I'm going to go with Glacius, and he went with Cinder, and I straight up destroyed him. No, he actually beat me. I'm not really great at Killer Instinct. Yeah, but this is really awesome. You know, I can't see his screen at this moment. I'm looking at mine, and the way we're playing together, I don't think there's any lag here. I mean, there has to be some sort of lag a little bit down the line, but... It's really not that bad, because we were able to play. So I get him in this first round. Yeah. I thought I was just going to mop the floor with him. Love these cheap moves here. But he came back and got me in the, uh, yeah. Beat me here. Went through to the next one. And got me again. But there will be a rematch. I'm going to practice for about a week, we're going to connect again, and then I'm just going to straight up mop the floor with you. Earlier today I was actually able to connect with Lord Moncus from over at the forums and we played some SNES, one of my favorite games, Joe and Matt. Worked fine from there, all I did was give him my IP, hosted the game, and he joined right up. The next system we tried was NES. We went with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game and we're using the Nestopia UE Core. RetroArch Netplay. Host. He's on the other end. He's going to join my game. Got connection from Baker. So we're now playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game for NES, several hundred miles away from each other. I'm going to go with Donatello. So this one worked pretty well, but he did notice that his score went down every once in a while. So I'm not sure if it was catching up with mine. As I was trying to beat up a foot soldier, he may have been trying to beat the same foot soldier, but it gave me the score. There must have been a little bit of lag here. We actually tested a few games like Altered Beast for Genesis. We also played some more NES. I think we played Gauntlet. And we retested this game 
it didn't have the same issues the second time we tested it, so it's just got to be a connection error. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. You got to remember that sometimes you just will not be able to connect to a certain person. And it really has to do with your port forwarding on your router. So my suggestion is make sure you grab your correct IP. Make sure you have your ports forwarded correctly and read through the Netplay Getting Started FAQ. When it's set up right, it works great, but it can be a little bit of a pain to get it working the first time. After you've done it once or twice, you'll have no trouble at all. With that said, I've been doing this inside of LaunchBox, but it's also integrated into BigBox. So I'm gonna go into BigBox mode. I'm gonna find Super Nintendo or even NES. Find a two-player game, like Gauntlet. Scroll down, RetroArch Netplay Host, or Join. Click RetroArch Netplay Join. You're gonna put your nickname in. Click Done, Host Address, Done. As you can see, it says Fail to Initialize Netplay. It's because I wasn't connecting to anybody. But I really like this feature inside a big box. I think it's pretty awesome. You can also go to RetroArch Netplay Host, put in your nickname, click Done. It's gonna start the game as a host, and you'll just wait for the other player to join you, waiting for client. Works really well. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below, but the best suggestion I can give you is read through the Netplay Getting Started FAQ. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe for more great content. And like always, thanks for watching.